Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, it's worth it. Once you become consistently profitable, it's a skill that you can keep and, and continuously improve for the rest of your life. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at ES on the daily chart. And real quick, give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. I post two videos a week sharing updates on my trades, the trades I'm in, and the market outlook. So just hit that like button. I really appreciate it. So we can see it looks like we have a topping tail. Uh, it looks like we have a topping candle here on ES. It looks like we pushed up and found some rejection at the 618 and possibly coming back down. I'm going to leave this drawing that I had in the past weeks. I drew this from about August 17th. I thought we would come up, basically get to about 4,500, and then kind of reject and trade back down and basically form a low at some point early October, that low being around 4,300 or so, and then trend back up into the end of the year, going back to about 4,700 on ES to close out the year. So I'm gonna just keep this going. We're gonna see what, how it plays out. But anyways, I am not in any trades. The only trade I'm in is in a NASDAQ short, actually at uh, 15,537. I'm in a NASDAQ short just because of the way that we close today, I like how we're closing, and I'm just gonna be putting stops above the current highs that we just put in place today, Thursday. So as you can see, that's just on the ES on the daily chart. This is just a Fib retracement from high to low. We came to 618, looks like we have some rejection here. We'll see if in the coming month we trend down or if we continue to make higher highs, higher lows. This is a 50 day moving average. It, what looks like right now is we made a we made a low, we pushed up and we made a lower high, sold off, but then defended the low and broke this lower high. So now it looks like we're in a bullish market structure on the daily chart on ES. Basic, uh, ever since we broke above the 44.85, it looks like we're bullish. So question becomes, are we gonna continue to push up or was this a rejection, we're gonna trade back down? We'll take a look at everything. So I'm gonna go through ES and NASDAQ. Let's go to the four hour chart now. On the four hour chart, it's a little crowded, of course, because of my drawings, but what I like is we have this basically tweezer top, two candles here, wicked and pushing down. Next four hour candle actually pushed below the low of the recent four hour candle. This to me looks like there's potential for a top to be put in and next target would be down here at about 44.96. I think that we'll actually get there Friday, tomorrow. We have NFP coming out at 8.30 a.m. Friday, pre-market, so that's gonna move the market. We'll see if we sweep those lows or if this was a fake out we push back up. Let's go look on to the one hour chart now. One hour chart, you can see clearly from left to right, we're just putting in higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. Obviously this looks like some topping, but we could just trade down into support to the left at about 4,500 and then continue to trade back up. 15 minute, looks like we're just selling off here, making higher, uh, lower highs and lower lows. Next target on the 15 minute is 4501. If we break down there, Look for next liquidity at 44.96, which is the same on the one hour and the four hour chart. So I'm basically watching to see if we break 44.96 tomorrow. If we do, then I'll have a little more confidence that we will probably continue lower down to uh, the low 4400s. But for now, everything's super bullish. On to the weekly chart before we move on to the NASDAQ. Here's what we see. We basically see that we pushed up, came down and swept and broke this swing low. So we had a swing low here at 44.12 and a swing low here at 43.72. Once we put in the top, we sold off, we broke those two swing lows. So on the weekly chart, we are bearish. We are bearish on the weekly chart on ES, okay? So bearish on the weekly chart, bullish on the daily chart and bullish on the smaller time frames. So let's see if the weekly chart plays out and we start to trend back lower. Again, that's the camp I'm in. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Now let's move on to the NASDAQ on the daily chart. Like I said, I got in this short at about 15.536. My first target is gonna be sweeping the lows at about 15.358. But I'm basically looking for us to trade into this fair value gap in around 50,200 to 15,100. And my ultimate target is gonna be below the lows, below 14,600. So my ultimate target is, is in the 14,500s on this NASDAQ short stopping above 15,900. Just to break it down for you, essentially, this is what it looks like. We're in that short, basically around there for the entry, stopping right there. Ultimate TP is just below this swing low. 
So this is about a 2.4 R. I will take partials as soon as you get into this fair value gap though, and then move stops to break even, and then be basically targeting 14,500 at some point in September or October. On the daily chart, NASDAQ looks bullish. Why? Because we put in a swing low, we broke, uh, we pushed up, we put in a uh, high, which broke above this swing high. So this is already bullish. Sold off and couldn't break this swing low, and then broke this swing high again. So all this looks like is a low, a high, a higher low, and then a higher high. So this is bullish. Next target based on this would be up at uh, 15,900. That's why I'm in the short, and that's why my stop is there because if we go to the weekly chart, what we can see is we broke the swing low here at 15,050. We broke the swing low here at 14,867. So what does this mean? On the weekly chart, it means we should be at resistance right here where we're currently trading. We wanna put the stops here because this is the most recent swing high based on the weekly chart. And it looks pretty obvious now that if I am correct in the short, we should not go to 15,915. And if I'm correct in the short, the next target should be 14,600. So that's the whole justification for the trade I'm in. Let's go down to the four hour chart. Four hour chart, again, what I liked was we put in this basically indecision candle and then next four hour candle closed bearish. I would like to see this four hour candle get down to 15,493. If we push below that, then I would like to see, I would think, you know, maybe we can target for 15,466. So right now, not a whole bunch of confidence that that was the top, but again, this is somewhat of a topping candle. And zooming out to the weekly, you could see why it's a decent entry on a short. But from left to right, obviously it is bullish because we have a swing low, we pushed up, we broke this swing high, and we just only went higher. So we on the four hour, there's nothing bearish realistically until we get below 15,365. First start of bearishness is if we get fit below 15,467 because it's a swing low on the four hour chart, but I'm um, just in that short, we're gonna hold that. A one hour chart is the same idea, but what I did like more on the one hour chart here is because we have this high, we pushed down, yeah, we found support, pushed up again, but now this is a lower high because it's a tweezer top, likely pushing down to targeting 15,493, and then hopefully lower, we'll have to wait and see. 50 minute chart, uh, basically just looks like chopping around, so there's nothing there. So let's go back to the weekly chart on NASDAQ and ES, and this is my whole outlook. This is what I believe will happen. We sold off, pushed up. I think we're forming a, a lower high, uh, basically in season, based on seasonality as well. There's gonna be a major low in early October, um, but that major low could only just be a double bottom. Like we could just get down about 14,600 at some point in early October, push up and then get back to above the highways we made by the end of December. Target is 14,600. And then I'd be looking for longs at some point early October to ride out to above this high at about 16,000. That is my big thesis there. Reason why I have a TP here is because of the fair value gap, 14,400 to 14,100. I where my mouse is there. This is where I think we will bottom. If we go to ES on the weekly chart, similar idea. Lots of support here at about 42.70. So I think we could push down to 42.70, maybe 42.80. Where my mouse is here, bottom there, push back up, and then take out this high we made at 46.35 at some point by the end of the year. That is the whole market outlook for ES and NASDAQ. Now I'm just going to cover the VIX and the dollar because they're very important. On the VIX, now, this is potentially a low. We had a lot of basing here, pushed up, sold off. Maybe we'll bottom here on the VIX and begin to cycle back up, or we'll just continue to push lower. If we push lower, market obviously is gonna go higher. Not a lot to say there. This is the weekly chart of the VIX. Looking at the dollar, this is what I drew, and it's following it actually pretty perfectly. I thought we would go down in the dollar and then rally in ES and NASDAQ. We've done that, we've rallied in ES and NASDAQ, so now I think that potentially putting in a higher low, cycling back up to at least target now 104.8. That'll cause some weakness for the NASDAQ in the coming weeks. So again, if you just look at dollar from left to right, you might think, okay, this is still bearish. And you're right, it technically is on the weekly chart because we have a low, we have a high. This is where it was bearish because it was a lower low, lower high, lower low, pushed up, 
somewhat bullish because we broke the, these swing highs, but I really want to see us break 104.7. If we break 104.7, like I said in the previous videos, I really think we are going to target 105.9 and then even get into the fair value gap up here on the weekly chart at 109.6 to 107.9. This area right here in the dollar, if we get up there, it's going to be causing a lot of pain for the NASDAQ. And I think that we will get there if we break above 104.7. So that is my whole market outlook. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. That's going to conclude this video. Look out for my next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you in the next one.